Today on the show, who's your micro network and who's your macro network and why is it good to take account of that now? Up next. Okay, so today's, this week's challenge for our teams was, you know, start whiteboarding, start jotting down who your macro network is, and then figure out who your micro. And, and what I mean by that is, so I'm like in Indianapolis and Indiana, and one of the big networks here in Indianapolis is like Eli Lilly or Salesforce. That's a macro. A micro is Steve in accounting. He's my neighbor. So being able to know that I know somebody within an organization is a is a possibly a backdoor in to a potential collaborator or funder or whatever. And so I challenged my students to start doing that. I started to say, you know, who do you know outside of just your school network? Maybe they're who your mom and dad knows. Maybe it's an uncle, maybe it's a so on and so forth. Take a look what they found. I kind of started with my dad. I think my dad is a really great resource. Um, his work that he works for is really resourceful and they've actually helped me out a lot um, in connection with like talking to their marketing lady. She's been giving me some really good tips about things that I could do for my podcast. Um, and uh, they might be interested in being one of our first like kind of um, people to try out our Go Plant It project. So they've definitely been really helpful. Um, Elena Schonkweiler is an amazing contact and I love her so much. She's so helpful in um, she just, from the bottom of her heart, wants to help other people so much. And I think that that's amazing. Um, I've had the privilege of working with um, JT McCormick. That podcast is going to be coming out really soon. Um, as well as um, people from all over Noblesville, like Mike Hoffmeister. He runs the Parks Department. Um, but it was kind of interesting to sit down and think about the people that you know. Because it gives you an opportunity to um, kind of... Get, get more directed goals about, okay, these are the people that I know. Um, these are people that they possibly might know. How can I kind of um, work with those people to meet those other people to get the ball rolling and kind of start um, networking that way? So it definitely gives you kind of some goals and it gives you some direction if you think about it more. All right, so like starting with family members, people we know, at least my mom works at Noblesville Schools, so we also go there, but that's a contact with like the, within the administration. And also my grandfather is the assistant superintendent of Carmel Clay Schools. So we, uh, we do have connections within like local school districts. Besides that, we've already made like personal connections and mentioned, talk to people there, but family always helps. Yeah, on my side of the family, uh, my dad works at Honeywell. My mom works at Gene Financial, but something cool with my cousin is actually a private pilot for the Koch brothers. So that's Koch Industries for anybody that doesn't know. Um, then we're going to get into the macro side over here. I'm going to come over to the whiteboard. Um, as you can see, it's probably backwards on camera, but we have some pretty big name contacts to name a few. We have Echo Fox, Cloud9, Twitch, ESPN, ESL, Fnatic, Player One Esports, Sports United, Tempo Storm, uh, Atlantic Records. We have, a, we have a bunch of contacts that we know yeah, so, uh, in this big industry. Yeah. And these are just contacts we made with talking to people, just trying to get our names out there. I mean, a lot of it, it's just been work. We've been doing this for a few years, so it's not like these contacts just came out of nowhere. It's just talking to people over time and just getting to know people. You realize, like, after actually writing this stuff down, that you know a lot of people. And contacts are, I mean, as fleeting as they are, a lot of the time, just a huge network is right there in front of you, and you don't realize that you have it. Especially in today's age where what who you know is almost as, as important as what you know, if not more. Right. So... Having a network is huge, and we feel like we have a pretty big one. Yep. As I um, have been thinking and jotting down the names of uh, people that I know can help me on growing and being successful for my business, uh, it kind of came to my mind that like there's a lot of local people around that you sh that you may know that could potentially have a big impact on your business. Let's say, for example, like if you go to church, your pastor. You know what I'm saying? You talk with him a little bit, your business or anything comes up in conversation, he may have people that he knows, or he may be able to give out a good word on your business, or maybe just talk about it with people in general. And so, you know, it's a lot of people out there that you may know that you just haven't thought of that could potentially help you. Okay, so from all three, you saw with, you know, both Garden of Year, uh, Go Plant It with Sarah, and, and the Paradigm Esports guys, a lot of them just started off with their family or their church. 
Um, I, I like with Sarah, she started with her dad. Uh, with Guard Me Gear, uh, you know, Leslie started immediately thinking of his pastor and then some of his family friends. And then with Paradigm Esports, you know, they started thinking about not only their family, but the school communities that they want to start helping in a very close sense. And this is really important whether you're a student or just starting out, is that those initial people that you didn't really think of working with, you should want to work with because they're going to be really instrumental in you being successful. and. I know a guy that knows a guy mentality. Um, so instead of, you know, and don't get me wrong, I love going to LinkedIn and Twitter and finding good contacts. Oftentimes the best contacts are people you already know and will support you and already love what you're doing off the bat. Harnessing that, jotting these on down on a whiteboard and then kind of listing, you know, maybe you can start off with a macro on just great companies in your area and then see who you know, or starting off with great people that you already know and trust and who do they work for? Either way, uh, tomorrow you're going to see kind of two different perspectives with uh, two different of our, our cohorts and kind of the mindset they have on their outreach of knowing people. And that is Don Wetrick reminding you the opportunities everywhere. We'll see ya.